Hello friends, welcome to another C++ interview question and this question is what is this pointer in C++? This is very common question in C++ freshers interviews. So let's look at what was the answer for that. Okay. So the first point you can tell is like this is passed as hidden argument to non-static member functions. Okay. So what is non-static member function? This is a non-static member function. Okay. We are not writing static here. If it is written static like this, then it is a static member function. Then in that case, this pointer will not be passed to this one. Okay. But if it is non-static member function like this, then this pointer will be passed. And uh, this is also non-static member function. This is another type of member function. This is a constant member function where you cannot change the value. Okay. If you will attempt to change this a in this function, which is this function, you will get a compiler error. Okay. So let's see how this whole thing will work. So let's suppose there is a class, this class, and uh, this is your data. And these are the interfaces you want to use this for uh, changing this data. Okay. And uh, let's suppose there is a base variable b and you are setting the value let's suppose 10 okay so how compiler will treat it like this one so the compiler will see this line compiler will change this line into this line okay that is how your this pointer gets transferred from here to the respective function okay so this is the call to your function which is this function okay so in that case compiler has to do some modification so when you write like this and compile your code compiler change lots of things okay so this is one of the thing compiler will change this into this so like if you are calling this set value set value will be this set value and your this pointer will be sent like this like b is having some address your address will go here so in order to get your this pointer your compiler has to change this set value function also so the compiler will change it like this one okay so your set value will look something like this one so this is how compiler will change this function okay so first it will take this as a parameter. So your address of B is going as this here. Okay. And you was assigning this A, which is a uh, temporary to this private A, which is nothing but your class data. Okay. So you was assigning like this, but compiler will change it like this one, this and your A. Okay. And then it will assign that A to this one. Okay. So the same thing will happen in this case also. Like suppose you are passing something like I have not taken the example of this one here. So I will just simply write in here. Let's suppose you're taking set, sorry, get value. In that case, compiler will change this also. Like suppose you're calling this one, then compiler will change this one like this one. Okay. In this, it will send address of B. Okay. And we generally keep this getters. This is like you are getting the value. So you are not supposed to change any value. So we keep this constant for two reasons. Like uh, compiler can optimize this code or whatever is written in that because compiler know that you are not going to change anything inside that. So compiler can attempt to optimize things in this whole function. Or second thing is you don't want accidental changes. Like you are just supposed to get the value, right? You're not supposed to change anything. Suppose uh, this is one kind of restriction. Okay. So this A is getting returned. So in this case, compiler will re replace this with this one. Okay. So it is very similar, but just because of this constant in here, compiler will add one more constant, which is this one. In that case, you cannot change the value also. Okay. Before this constant was just because you cannot change this pointer. Okay. This pointer is nothing but the address. You cannot change address which means you cannot make this B point some another address. B is having its own address and you cannot change that. Okay. So that is the reason this constant is here. So this is how this whole thing work. That's why you always get this pointer in your member functions. Okay. So I think I'm done here. Thanks for watching and guys and guys, please follow your passion. Do at least one time in a day what you're passionate about. Okay. That would make your life so much good. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.